Well, you were just telling me a powerful story, but first tell me about how long have you been in these institutions? How long have I been in institutions? Most of my life, since I was 12 years old. I did four years in New York in a juvenile facility for something my stepmom said I did and I didn't do. But I got stuck in the boys' home for four years at 12. So you've been in and out of places quite a few times, huh? Yeah. So, tell me that powerful story that you just said about what's happening in your case. I just beat, well, I just won. One life sentence got taken off and 25 extra years got taken off. I was here for attempted murder, conspiracy to commit murder and sold with a deadly weapon on a guy that was supposedly a child molester on the street. I've tried to say it was self-defense and showed this evidence as to what the statements were made and how it was. And in the end, the appellate courts decided that there wasn't a conspiracy due to the fact that the witness stated, I said, if he gets out of line, I'll handle him, and not till then. And then the same situation is she admitted so many lies that they couldn't really take her testimony. So the conspiracy got dropped. So that's 25 to life got dropped. Then the prior conviction they said was a conviction in New York that statutes a strike wasn't a strike. So that's 25 more years. So I'm willing to, I'm about to go back to court, find out if they finalize the, the reversal. And if they do, I'm, I'm filing a habeas corpus to fight the premeditation. Hopefully I get go home in five years, which I've been down almost five, or 11 years for the attempt of murder if that's what they convict me of. So what are you going to do differently when you go to the street? What are you going to do differently? Well, I have a Christian friend that I'm writing right now, and I want to go and tell the kids that she has in this group and go to church and change my life more than I was. I was on drugs, and I was around people I shouldn't have been around on the streets that weren't faithful to God, so they didn't really care about what they did, let alone what I did. So I need to change my life on that, that fact. Now people would say, I don't believe him, but what could you say to the youth today that would be convincing to the youth? Well, when you, it's like when you get an eye awakener. It's like when you get caught in a lie, or when you did something wrong and you're caught. Your family or whoever's caught you lets you know and then you feel the guilt. Well, when you're in prison and you're sitting here and you don't think you're ever going to get out and you realize what led up to you getting there, even if you weren't wrong in the case, but what led up to you getting there helps constitute you being in jail. You, It's an eye-opener. The drugs, the being cool, and the violence and all this other stuff that creates an uh, image that people live off today in today's society isn't cool. It's not worth it. Staying in a cell all day with another man, having to deal with that person's situations, everybody else's situations, being where you can't be, getting told what to eat, when to eat, what to do, is not cool. You got freedom for a reason, and when you disobey the law, you lose that freedom, and it's nothing nice.